Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you are doing good at home. So, you have done very well in your assessment and keep doing that. Okay, so today we will start with chapter number 4 that is Raghu's dream. Now, here we go. So, before I explain the chapter, let us look at the meanings of some new words used in the chapter. So now we have chapter number 4 that is Raghu's dream. So the chapter is about Raghu and his dream. So here we go. Raghu was very excited today. He had his English exam. English was his favorite subject. So why he was excited? Because he had his English exam and English was his favorite subject. Now Raghu, English is my favorite subject. I hope I do well in my exam today. So he was hoping that he will do well in his exam because English was his favorite subject. Soon it was time for the exam to begin. Miss Ray started giving out the question papers. Raghu waited impatiently. So Miss Ray was his teacher. So she started distributing the question paper. And Raghu was waiting eagerly. Now Raghu, I am so eager to write the exam. I wonder if questions on my favorite lessons are included. So he wants that the questions from his favorite chapter should be included. When Raghu got the question paper, he was shocked. He couldn't believe his eyes. Why? Now let's see. There are four spoons and six plates on each table. How many? What is this? This is not the English paper. So because as he was knowing that it was his English paper, but there were math questions. Raghu, ma'am, there is something wrong. The whole class looked at Raghu. They couldn't understand what was wrong. What's the matter, Raghu? Are you all right? So, when he said that, ma'am, there is something wrong, so everyone started looking at Raghu. They were not able to understand what was wrong. And so, Miss Ray asked Raghu that, what's the matter? Are you all right? Raghu said, ma'am, there has been a mistake. This is mass paper. Miss Ray spoke kindly to Raghu. Of course. It's maths. Today is the maths exam. No, no. It couldn't be. Today is the English exam. So he was quite confused between English and maths exam. Everyone was surprised at Drago's words. So they, everyone were wondering that what he's saying. I think you must have mixed up the dates. Did you check the date sheet? So ma'am was saying that you must have mixed the dates have you checked the date sheet before exam ragu yes ma'am i had checked it this morning today today we were supposed to have english exam so he said that ma'am i checked the date sheet in morning and today we were supposed to have english exam ragu was in tears he didn't know what to do he he just stared at the paper so Raghu started crying and he was not able to understand what to do. He was just looking at the paper. So ma'am said, Raghu, don't be so upset. Read the questions. I am sure you will be able to answer most of them. So teacher was encouraging Raghu that don't be upset. Try to solve the questions. I am sure that you will be able to do most of them. But Raghu, I had prepared for English exam. So he was totally blank. He said that, ma'am, I have prepared for English exam. But, so one of the uh, girls from his class said, well, the English exam is tomorrow. Raghu kept on speaking to himself. I was supposed to be English today. I know it was supposed to be English today. So he was talking to himself that I know it was supposed to be English exam today. 
so ragu's mother noticed him kicking around in his bed muttering something so muttering means that he was speaking in a low voice ragu wake up you must be having a bad dream so mother said that just wake up you have you had a bad dream oh mummy where am i so he was asked asking his mother that where am i mother said in your bed ragu Ra- ragu looked around he was indeed in his bed at home so when he looked around he was on his bed it must have been a dream oh mummy i had such a bad dream so he was like ki mummy i had a bad dream this morning so mother said calm down and tell me all about it ragu told his mother about his dream that i went to school prepared for my english exam i found that we had the maths exam instead so mother said oh my poor boy have you forgotten that your exams are over today is the first day of your holidays so his exams were finally finished so that's all for today now we will meet you you in our next turn okay till then be safe keep smiling bye bye